Okay. I'm sitting here in the Schlosshof uh, in Wiesloch. This is the uh, ESB Institute in Germany and Peter is visiting us. Uh, I didn't know you, Peter, before personally and I'm very glad we have already talked to each other one or hour or a bit more. And we found out <coughs> uh, you are a professor for leadership, you are the senior of bus consulting and you have many merits and many roles and you seem to be still very active and very creative and I admire this. Thank you, Schön. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And we found out that we have a parallel development in our history uh, with psychotherapy, humanistic psychotherapy, systemic approaches, and then turning more and more to uh, questions of the organizational fields, because we both um, think, I guess, that it's not enough for uh, individual transformation. We need this combined with a lot more and I hope that we can talk about this now together. You told me that you always uh, think from uh, the future back. What are we here for? What is the field for and what? how could we serve the field? And so my very general question to you is, how do you see the future of our economy, of our society, and what uh, challenges have we to meet, and especially the field of all the professions of consulting, organizational development, organizational coaching, how, how ca can they contribute in what shape are they right now? Mm. Uh, there was a book from Hillman that you know also, 100 years of psychotherapy and the world is still not better. <laughs> <laughs> or the world is getting worse. Uh, or maybe <laughs> even worse. I think is what, what James Hillman said. Yes. Yeah, and so my question, and I'm also very much interested in contributing to developing the fields in, on many levels. Mm. And I'm interested to hear how you look at it. And I just want to listen. The, I, I was very um, moved recently by a recent talk by Peter Senge. And I think he, in this talk he says one thing which is very important. He said, human beings have for many millennia learned how to thrive in localized niches, mm -hmm. whether it's northern mountains or deserts or villages and forests. But he said, now, for better or worse, we have created one global niche, one world which is totally interconnected. And, and you and I are old enough that in our own lifetime, we have seen the world's population treble. Right. And that is unprecedented in the whole of human history. Not only have we seen the world's population treble, but we've co co created a world of, of such interconnectivity in terms of travel, the economy, uh, the flow of refugees, network, the, internet. the network, the internet, <coughs> that, that we are totally interdependent as one human family. We, we've also created a world in which we, with this number, with 7.35 billion people living on this earth, with the rate of expectations we've got, of, of, of a world that, that may not be able to sustain human beings unless we learn and evolve new ways of being with the more than human world. Mm -hmm. And I think this gives enormous challenges for, for not only our society but our species mm -hmm. and for, for Gaia, mm -hmm. the Earth. And I think it was Reg Revens, you know, the founder of Action Learning, mm -hmm. who came up with this lovely <coughs> formula. He said, learning must equal or be greater than the rate of environmental change. Mm -hmm. And environmental change is happening faster and in more complex ways. Right. And somewhere the big challenge is that the human, individual, group and collective learning is not evolving at the speed that is necessary. Right. And, and, and faced with that, 
you know, where my kind of journey, which has been very parallel to yours, Ben, has gone, is to say, well, look, what you said at the beginning of this, we, we can no longer afford to evolve human consciousness one person at a time. Mm -hmm. Everyone having psychotherapy won't solve the world's problems. We've, we've got to have change happening at multiple levels. Right. And you and I and our institutes have trained many therapists. We've trained many coaches. We've trained many facilitators, consultants, and, and many good people who do fantastic work at the individual level or at the group level. But, but what the world I think is calling out for is people who can work at the individual level, the team level, the organizational level, and the ecosystem level mm -hmm. and can work at all of those at depth mm -hmm. and can work at all of those ways not as experts but as enablers right. as people who can orchestrate and enable change in partnership with others mm -hmm. and, and that we are very short of.